Their journey here started five years ago. Dave Hughes, a Hong Kong-born Brit, moved to Rwanda after reading a gripping account of the 1994 genocide. He built a school and formed a bond with some young rugby players. I uh, saw some guys playing rugby on the side of the road. Went up to them, asked them what they were doing, got involved, started coaching a, a local team, then started coaching uh, the national team, and then being a Hong Kong boy, always wanted to bring them out here to Hong Kong. The players went back to Rwanda and started a rugby revolution there, bringing the skills they learned in Hong Kong to players of all ages. Despite having very little equipment, and to this day they play on an old soccer pitch, rugby is the fastest growing sport in the country. Benjamin Makombe was one of the first Rwandans to play in Hong Kong. Now he's part of an elite East African team made up of Rwandans, Kenyans and Ugandans. They competed in the International Tens Tournament, a lead up to the famed Rugby Sevens. When we are here, we feel like it's a, a dream because it's a new things come in our life and we are happy to be here. Following in those footsteps, the Rwandan national team played in their own tournament. These young men only dreamed of coming to Hong Kong. There are also men who have lived through a nightmare. According to most estimates, a million people killed in the span of 100 days. 27-year-old Jean Lenard lost family in the genocide. During the war, many people were killed because they were Hutus or Tutsis, but now we are glad there's peace. We all talk the same language. We are all together. The Hong Kong skyline and its pitches are about as big of a culture shock as you can get for these players. And playing in this tournament is the culmination of years of hard work. But for them, rugby is so much more than just a sport. They say it's been a tool that's helped them come together and heal as a nation. In Rwanda, we call ourselves Rwandis. Like, that's one tribe, the whole family Rwandis. If anyone was to ask any one of us, they would just tell you I'm Rwandis. These rugby players have high hopes for their country's future and will continue that tradition of inspiring others back home. Laura Westbrook, BBC News, Hong Kong.